this describes uh, a test case template uh, quite a few asked me about uh, how to record uh, the test case execution how to write test in a test case template what format is to be followed what are the standards while well, standards may vary from organization to organization but this test case template gives a very broad picture as to what all should be captured while writing the test cases so let's begin with it and uh, see what all uh, is covered in this test case template so the first sheet here is a content uh, which gives a broad picture of uh, the overall uh, test case template here we have few statistics it begins with the project name which is nothing but the name of the project then you have the version so for example if you begin with the uh, version 1.0 of the project you can write 1.0 here and with the future releases if it moves on to 1.1 1.2 and so on then that could be captured here and the date uh, of when the statistics was updated last then there are a few instructions about pass and fail use cases so as we all know if we have been doing manual testing the pass test case is the one which does not result in a defect and the fail is the one which causes a defect and in that case we would also have an issue captured let us see a few more content here so in this sheet we have a couple of modules which is module 1 2 3 4 and 5 the module is nothing but uh, a subset an area of application so the module uh, one could be uh, you know say for example if you have registration pages would be registration and then if you have managed profile you could mark it as module 2 and then you could have say payment related use cases it could be module 3 so depending on the kind of uh, area the application is divided in these modules could further be sub subclassed so all the uh, test cases don't have to be kept in uh, just one sheet you can create multiple sheets here and those multiple sheets could further be divided in multiple modules and then there's a reference sheet here so if you click on this the control will go to module one which we would uh, have a look at later and then we have pass fail and other counts you would also see this this all count would come in uh, from the module sheet for example in the module sheet when we are going to have a look at this we would see we are capturing the pass fail and other results so that count is going to appear here so we mainly have uh, uh, pass fail on hold do requirement change and dropped and then we have total count uh, which is uh, summation of uh, all of this then we have few more important statistics about the how many test cases are passed how many test cases are failed how many are on hold due or how many are pending because of the requirement change or drop because of the requirement change and then we, we can also enter the remark here so this information continues uh, for all of the modules the last row is the total uh, of all the modules as in uh, you know how many test cases have passed in all the modules still the test cases which are dropped and then we have two more sheets sheets which are test summary and legend we will have a look at that also but let's move on to the few more sheets now so we have something called uh, change uh, control log here change control log is to keep a list of changes uh, the test cases have undergone so if i have modified a module i have added a test or if if I have removed a test, I would uh, capture the data here. I would say that this particular use case has been modified. It belongs to this sub module or remark. If I want to add action, what I have done, I may have added a test. I would have, I may have removed a test. I may have modified a test. I may have added uh, new conditions in an existing test. So I have to give the test case ID, the date, who did the modification, what kind of action was carried out. The details, the particular details about the action which was carried out, the module it belongs to and so on. Let us see a module sheet now. This is the same module sheet which we are referring at the content. So as I said earlier, we have pass, fail, on hold and other things. So this all data comes from the module sheet. So let's go to the module sheet now. So this is the module sheet in which uh, we have a couple of fields which begins with total, which is total number of test cases. We have pass, fail and other uh, test cases status. We have requirement change dropped. The creation date is the date when the module sheet was created. When we write the test cases, they have to undergo a round of review. So review date is the date when the test case was reviewed and the, and the person who reviewed it, of course. Now, if you have a look at this, the total is a count of uh, uh, column J7 to J2253. So it would uh, consider all of these test cases which come under this. So I suppose 2000 lines are enough for one module. If it goes beyond this, then we should further subclass it and write it in multiple uh, test case, uh, multiple sheets in the Excel or CS, uh, CSV file. Uh, then we have uh, pass status which is again uh, column J but with the state of 
status pass we have fail which is again the column j with the status fail till we have dropped okay and this is where the original syntax of the test comes from so it begins with the test case id wherein we capture the test case id which makes it easy for us to find out which test case id has resulted uh, in a failure of uh, a requirement the title of the test case requirement id which helps us in uh, building a relationship between the test case id and the requirement it may also be useful in building the requirement traceability metrics the owner of the test case you could also have it uh, outside uh, the sheet you could also create just one column here and say owner because owner would by and large be the same person but if you have multiple owners for one test sheet then you could have it as a dedicated uh, column here then the serial number uh, you could have multiple steps or you could have just one step so all these steps should go here if a test case requires a test data then test data would go here the expected result of the test should come here the result which is something to be updated and we execute the test so it could be pass fail on hold or other things and we want to add a remark then comment will go here so when we execute the test and update the status here this is the same uh, content which would be taken and updated automatically in the first content sheet and all the details would appear here so if someone wants to just see a status of this execution one doesn't have to go through each and every individual modules they can come to the content and have a look at what all test cases have failed or passed or dropped in a specific module the same thing is applicable for all the modules and then we have something called GUI test cases which are common test cases so they have not been added uh, in the individual module sheets these test cases could be like uh, checking the tab order or uh, verifying the maximum or minimum length for a field which are common uh, which could be common across uh, all the modules then we have legend and validation which uh, defines uh, the terms which are used in the test case doc for example what is the test case id or title or requirement id and other fields yeah that's about it so this is the sheet uh, i'll be uploading this sheet on the testing forum and a link to this sheet is available uh, in the description of the video so you can download it from there i hope you find it uh, useful and uh, please do add uh, comment uh, to the video if you have any question or you can ask it in testing forum also and please do thumbs up if you like this thank you